spawning grounds of U-boat warfare. From these wrecked submarine pens came the underwater prowlers that sank millions of tons of Allied shipping. Prefabricated submarines at this Bremen shipyard might have put Germany on a mass production basis if the war had continued for a short time longer. But the scourge has ended. The U-858 approaches Cape May, New Jersey, after having surrendered at sea to two destroyer escorts. The 240-foot underseas craft is manned by an American prize crew, keeping a watchful eye on the Nazi skeleton crew, which remained to operate the ship. The prisoners, who sank 18 Allied vessels, come ashore to await confinement at Fort Miles. Barely a day later, a second submarine arrives at Portsmouth, New Hampshire, after having surrendered formally off the main coast. The submarine's officers await transfer to shore. This U-boat is credited with a speed of 20 knots and a cruising range of 10,000 miles. The prisoners are taken to Portsmouth Naval Prison, where they will be kept for an indefinite period. The U-boat peril is dead, but this arrogant captain personifies an unrepentant Nazism. Thank you.